Hey everybody and today we are going to be talking about some Smart 7 Smart Mobile features. In this case we are specifically going to look at offline maps, how to create them, how to put it onto the device and then how it looks on your device. Cool so stay tuned. Okay so I've got my conservation area open. Now just to start off, I'm assuming that you have each got a geo-referenced um, raster image or satellite image or whatever you whatever you want to put on the background map or you've got these layers, that's fine. These layers will work just as well. I'm going to, in this case, I'm not in this area, so I'm going to make, I'm going to add a satellite image. So if I go to the top right here, I click this plus sign and I go to files, so I'm going to add a new file now on my desktop I've already got a supported geotiff file of my area Stellenbosch in order to get these um, look at a previous video if necessary on how to actually get one of these so I click add and as you can see there it has been added if I obviously can't see it on my map right now so I right click and I say zoom to layer and there it is there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all these different layers. Okay, so I'm just left with this specific base map. I'm actually going to save it as a base map. Um, in this case, Stellenbosch. I need to save it as a base map because what's going to happen is I'm going to be referencing this when I'm sending it to my mobile device. It's been successful. Okay, that's good. Now, the idea is to put it onto the device itself. Okay, so we go to our configurable model. Um, I'm just going to choose a very simple one. I'm going to use this aerial, uh, aerial one, edit. I'm just going to make sure that everything's correct. Um, if I want to change anything here, I can go look at the um, device settings if I wanted to change a few things in this case I'm all happy so I'm going to say close and close I go to field data smart mobile and we're going to go to packages now I've already got packages here so I'm going to actually create a new package and it's going to be a patrol package because it's going to go onto my device so I'm just going to call it aerial for now and the data model is the aerial one for itself and then patrol metadata, we're going to go this again. And then we're going to go right to the top here and say base map settings. Now, base map here, so this is where we've saved a whole bunch of different base maps that I have available in desktop, or I can actually add custom files. So this is actually going to look for different shape files um, that I can actually custom make and add different layers here. So I can add some more layers here. A web map service if I want but let's just keep it simple and use the same base map we have on our desktop so that everything is you is uniform so there right at the bottom I've got my Stellenbosch one and I can see my map extent here so I can set my map extent based on the area that I'm looking for if I can't see it I zoom to layer now because it's zoomed out because it's on the default one. So I'm just going to zoom in right down here like this. I'm just going to make this my extent, set the extent and immediately it will set the zoom levels for me. Now the min and max, if you go be uh, too far in within the min, you're not going to see if you go too far out to the max, you're not going to see the um, map on your device. But that's fine, we'll see it now on the device. So I click save, close, I click on aerial and I say export. So I'm going to export it to the device and export it there. Okay, so I'm not sure why that configurable model is not specifically working for me. So I'm just going to do a different one here. So I'm just going to edit this one and change the base map settings to Stellenbosch. So let's exp export it to the device. Okay, so that's exported now. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you get stuck, don't be, don't get despondent. Just try different things and, and go and look at the different settings. 
So what I figured out was when I said export, I didn't have this tick box put on, so it wasn't actually sending it to the device. So it's a little thing like that, but don't get despondent. Um, yeah, just keep trying. That's all I can encourage you with. Okay, so now we're gonna go look at it, what it looks like on the device. Okay, so here's my device in front of me. Okay, I find Smart Mobile. Look at the desktop, it then sees all my different projects. This is the one I was using. Now, if I go to map here, before I even started a control, um, I can go and actually just look at the layers. Okay, so there you'll see all the layers, uh, patrol, track, smart map, none, etc. Okay, obviously if you're connected, these options are nice to have. This will always be your map that you've exported. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say none, and I'm actually going to turn off the Wi-Fi and um, the cellular data. So it's actually looking specifically with no connector. Actually, let's just turn it straight onto airplane mode. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to turn on to airplane mode and then I'm going to take the device to the to the corner and get some signal quickly well to the satellite should I say just so that I can actually start my patrol. Okay, so I've got um, you can see I'm in airplane mode. All my base maps are turned off except for smart map. Now this is where that zoom extends. As you can see there, there's my location and obviously I can't see anything. So I start panicking. But remember you had that set that max and min zoom. So if I zoom in, suddenly there it appears there. So I can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay. Um, this is a terrible satellite image. Uh, very pixelated. But there it is there. Now obviously if I zoom in too far, eventually the map is going to disappear again. But it's going to take a very long time because of the extent in which I set it on my before I exported it. But as you can see, there's my location in relation to uh, my offline map. Now, just so you know, Wi-Fi and mobile data is turned off. So this is purely an offline map right now. Cool guys, I hope this works for you. I, or I hope it makes sense and try it with obviously the different shape files. I'm just doing it with a raster image just for this demonstration.